care less about it. I don't like it at all. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Sizzle or Fizzle. I'm Rick. This is your boy, Cass. And this is the show where we go over different types of music and we listen to the music, we analyze it, we give our feedback and other tidbits about the information that we find and we share it with you. And hopefully you comment back and share some stuff with us. Once we get done with all that, we will either sizzle it or fizzle it, letting you know what we think about the song. And Cass, guess what we got for the people today? I have no idea. I'm we going. got more Metallica. Metallica. As a matter of fact, Come we uh, actually, we're, we're doing a request. This is from two different people. Stephen oh. Ailman and one of our private accounts. We don't have your name, but we still honor the request. Both of you requested Metallica's For Whom the Bell Tolls. Steven! And we are going to be listening to that today. Now, full disclosure, Kaz, I've already heard the song before. I don't know if you've heard it or not. Nope. Matter of fact, I went online and, and I sent a little message back to Steve to let him know that I'm on board and that I was going to get on this song because I was not familiar with it. And I told him soon. And I guess soon meant today. <laughs> you didn't know it. Hey. You didn't know it. <laughs> no better time than the present then. So I tell you what, guys, less of us, more Metallica. That's what you're here for. Let's get started with For Whom the Bell Tolls. Ding, ding, toll. So, so Kaz, Kaz, um, <laughs> I, I think we've, we had a difference of opinion so far uh, on, on the song. Um, did the long intro lose you? Because I was digging it. Um, um, I, I just, um, yeah, yeah. I, you know, it's, there's actually two different versions. And this is the extended version. Five minutes, nine seconds, 30 minutes of it. <laughs> However, 
I like what the song is, is based off of. Uh, I haven't read the, the book, but I heard of it by Ernest Hemingway back in the 40s. And it was about a bloody uh, warfare. Uh, soldiers that got obliterated uh, on a mountaintop uh, trying to uh, defend the hill. And mm. uh, there's some airplanes that, that kind of came down and uh, got rid of them in a very impolite way. Uh, and actually, the video is ba is showing uh, like a movie uh, version of what the song is based off of, which is war. Hey, um, <laughs> I was digging the uh, the long instrumental beginning. I, I kind of mm -hmm. like that. You know, that to me, that harkens back to songs from like the uh, 70s and the early 80s where they weren't afraid to just like let the band play for a few minutes before they had to, you know, step up to the mic and sing now everything's pretty cookie cutter you got three minutes and 45 seconds uh let's hear a few bars as soon as uh the, the music starts and everything's either a trap beat or it's the same old pop sounding beat that's on the radio uh on every other station so you know to me this is this is refreshing i think you i'll take your word for it <laughs> all right let's get back to more Metallica, uh, <laughs> for whom the bell tolls. Ding. Here's the real question that I want to ask Sizzle Gang. Um, because it was back in 84, everybody knows when it comes to Metallica, Metallica is basically James and Lars. Um, who is on guitar, uh, on the lead guitar, and, and who is the bass player? I know Metallica has had a kind of, uh, not a revolving door for bassists, but they've had, I, I want to say, three different bass players. And I'm just curious who was on bass for this song. So if y'all can uh, help us point, out. At this point, uh, lead was Kirk. And okay, bass, so Kirk has been there for a while then. Okay. And bass was Cliff before he died. Okay. So it was Cliff and then Jason, right? I didn't write that part down. Okay. Well, then Sizzle Gang can help me with that. After but Cliff, did, it would have been Jason because I know Jason's no longer there and they've got a new bass player. All right, let's go ahead and finish it out. Let's do it.
All right. So talk to me about this song. Uh, how do you feel about it? This, uh, I'll be specific. The studio recording, I don't care less about it. I don't like it at all. It just did from the from pillar to post. The instrumental beginning drove me nuts. And just the whole thing for me, again, I'm trying to use moods uh, as well. I, I, I was, I've been, the word that kept coming to me was blase. I just, you know, just didn't, didn't, didn't dig it. However, turn over my notes. However, I went to live again. These boys live in Mexico City, 2009. Woo! Let me tell you, completely changed my tune, changed my tone, changed my thought. I, first of all, looking at the bass guitarist having a five string bass. He was jamming, he was jamming, he was jamming, he was jamming, he was jamming. Hey, uh, since I know you are the connoisseur of all things live, and we are talking Metallica today, I got to tell you, based off of our last Metallica video and kids, there's a card right up here, so you know you can check that out. <laughs> I watched that Colorado uh, version of uh, Wherever I May Roam, like you mm -hmm. said. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, Kirk is on those pedals. Woo. Stomping, stepping, stepping, stomping, stomping, stepping, stepping, and stomping. That was a fantastic video. And he's even using the uh, I think it's called the pitch bend. The little the little stick on the yeah on the guitar yeah, yeah he went wow 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 I mean I thought mm, 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 mm. it was so good the live that even the intro was killer killer I say I say killer I say killer man that is and then of course my drummer I gotta go to the drums you know my first big thing is dude was using Lars was using my nylon tip sticks. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm -mm. He uses Tama drums, which I've heard of, never used them, and the Zildjian cymbals, which I have used before back in the day. Um, this song makes me headbang. Not an angry headbang, but headbang nonetheless. The, the live version. Okay. Not the version. Now, unlike, unlike you, I like this version of this song, so I'm, I'm, I must be in for a real treat. Uh, with the live version, so oh, man. no must be. You are in for a real treat. I'm I'm probably gonna check it out right after uh, we get done recording this. So there may be a little caption somewhere on the screen right now, telling everybody how much I like it. Like, share, subscribe, ding, hit it. Let yes. us let us know. Uh, Private and Stephen. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate both of you. Um, uh, I wish it wasn't a private account because I'd like to, you know, let you know, thank you by name. Steven, your name was on yours. I really appreciate you coming with it. And when a couple of people request a song, man, that means that it is worthy. So I appreciate every single one of you guys that watch. You, you don't know. I mean, I can't. I can't put it into words how it it's makes me feel. I appreciate you so much. Yeah, and to me, this song was a sizzle. Steven, this song was a sizzle. Steven, private. Uh, this song is a 50%. No, I'll give it 75% sizzle. Studio recording, not down with it. Studio recording, not down with it. Um, the, the, but, the, but the live, see, the studio was going to get this picture right here. But due to live, these brothers get a big, bad, fiery sizzle. How about those apples? All right. So, gang, while you are liking, and make sure that you hit that like button, just smash the hell out of that like button. And, you know, we always say share and subscribe to hit the bell for notifications. But the most important thing you can do, comments. Leave us comments. It uh, really affects the YouTube algorithm. It lets more people see what we have so that we can grow. And being a part of Sizzle Gang, you get to grow with us. Also, when you comment, 
you give us these little tidbits that we don't know about these bands or about these songs, and we appreciate that. Uh, you know, we can only do the research that we find online. A lot of you guys, you've been there, you, you lived it, so you know about certain concerts or uh, certain instruments or somebody's particular style of playing. So that's, that's what we like. But the comments also allow us to personally interact with you. Is it interact or interact? <laughs> I'll take interact. I like it. I'll take interact for 500. Ding, 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 ding. There it is. Where, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Ding, 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 ding. 500. And like and subscribe. So plain and simple, everybody. Keep the love coming. We appreciate y'all. Uh, we are going to get out of here for today. Please stay positive, stay blessed. And as I always say, no matter what's going on in your life, keep it moving. And until we see you again later. If you like this video, watch another one right here. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Just click right here. I got lots of cool content, movies, music, and television. Explore everything. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think.